Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Also, thank you for all the support you guys have given me. Uh, I've been very ill, so you guys have been, you know, supporting me on Twitter, giving me you know, a shout out, and just making sure I'm okay. I am okay, guys, so thank you very much for that, and thank you for all the support on the channel. Today, I'm going to bring you a new project that's coming out soon. Uh, you can still get whitelist for it, I believe, in the Discord. You've got to like, play some games, all that type of stuff, be active, and all that type of stuff. Uh, it's on Binance Smart Chain, the DeFi project. I think it can actually do very well. Plus, it's got some very good KYC. They're not doxxed. However, they have a really good KYC verified by the Obsidian Council. And we're going to be going into depth who the Obsidian Council are, etc, etc. Um, and they actually updated their white paper today. So this is version 2. They updated today. It's why this video hasn't come out earlier, because I was actually waiting for this. And it came out today, so brilliant. Uh, and we're just going to go over the website then the white paper and i haven't actually read the new updated white paper yet just yet so we're just going to go through it together see what's new and just talk about what the things they're going to be doing so yeah the project is called million dollar baby right and um, i like the logo what they've got here i kind of like the theme of the colors they're going for like a gold luxurious look and they have also got a new logo which if you see the thumbnail that's their new logo it's like more like a golden shine type logo same same look but more like a golden shine more luxurious which i like to see so are you ready for the future of DeFi? Bro, mathematically proven. So basically, like the whole point of this project is you invest your money like normal. They have like a trust fund, which they will then use like funding to invest in other projects, which then will bring you generate you income, passive income, basically. So you invest into the project. They already have like a treasury already as well. They're gonna invest into projects which will then bring revenue to this project and so on, so on, so on. Uh, so let's just go down through the website here. I will say, I think this is a version one of their website, just so you guys know, but I do like it. It's not too bad for a you know an early project. So you can see here, the KYC, the public launches on the 29th of April. Also, throughout this video, if there's cutouts, guys, it's because I've been coughing. I don't want you guys to hear my coughing, so if there is a cut throughout this video, that's why. For example, just then, I've just coughed, so I've just cut the video there. So yeah, they're a trust fund. Current balance, total market cap, obviously it's not there just yet. By probability is probably high. They have got a lot, a lot of backing on this project. They've got a bunch of support from other projects that have done very well, such as Fear Finance. Huge shout out to them. They've done a fantastic job. Um, and the, like this KYC project as well. If you're KYC with them, your project is most likely guaranteed to do very well. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that near the end of the video. So MDB ecosystem and roadmap. So the phase one, the initiative trust fund ensures growth from day one as the high interest yield is both invested and used to buy back and burn the token. So there you are. So yeah, they're going to be using buy back and burns of the token. So there's going to be less tokens in circulation. Your investments will grow, et cetera, et cetera. As long as all the projects they invest in do continue to do well, keep being stable. Because I'm sure they're going to be doing, they're probably going to invest into high volatility projects and stable projects. So you know they have got the risk barrier there to make a lot of money but they've also got the backup of like stable coins so they're kind of safe as well which you'd want from any type of trust fund project right you are bsd backed stable token with an everlasting growth mechanism and then phase three stake your mdb and bnb in the liquidity pool to earn passive rewards so yeah i always love a project with staking i'm all about passive income as you guys know safe and secure your investment is safe with mdb with the kyc liquidity is going to be locked to be a certic audit coming and a multi-sig on the main investment wallet so obviously even if they had all these things it doesn't guarantee 100 you know your money is safe however i do truly believe in my own opinion this project is going to be very safe to put your money into based on the kyc they've had with the people they've done it through so yeah so if we move over to the uh, white paper actually no first i'm going to show you who the obsidian council are so just so you guys know who i'm talking about so obsidian council is very new it's a new company who kyc projects it's done by a youtuber who was fed up of all these crap kyc companies who just it's basically like a bot service people pay they say blah 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 thank you for your kyc so the youtuber is jesse eckle he's got 160,000 subscribers his videos do very well as you guys can see here brilliant youtuber very inspired me quite a lot he's put me on the path of boom passive income like reading all these books all that type of stuff so he is very good so shout out to jesse if you're watching this awesome got job my guy but he founded this business basically and it was actually con by accident it wasn't a thing he thought of it just came out of nowhere and he started doing it as a business 
Uh, one project came to him, and since that one project, his whole business is blown up, basically. And what they do is they uh, do interviews one-to-one. -one. So one of their team members is actually doxxed to these guys. They've got all their like details, all that type of stuff. So if they were to rug pull or do whatever that, Jesse and the Obsidian Council know exactly who you are. They're going to give you into the authorities, and you're most likely going to get in trouble, right? So if you do go with the Obsidian Council, you're not going to be able to scam too easy. And they haven't had any scams since they've been out. I think Obsidian Council's been around for about two months now. They've had no issues with any of the projects that have launched. Most of the projects that they have launched with have actually done very well as well. So they've done absolutely amazingly, in my opinion. I am actually a moderator with this on their Discord as well for Obsidian Council. So I do trust the team on this. And they've done a very good job, in my opinion. Anyway, that's Obsidian Council. Very trustworthy. Every project so far has been legit. So I do believe MDB is going to be doing the exact same. So what is MDB? It is an initiative and original DeFi token on the Binance Smart Chain Network, utilizing our unique capital synergy mechanism to ensure long-term perpetual growth for holders. A compound effect of tokenomics, deflationary nature, and intelligent investment strategies power our capital synergy, ensuring a token that will increase in value over time. So yeah. Every time they burn tokens, there's less in circulation. So ideally, the price should go up. Not always the case, but ideally it should do. Plus, with all the investments they'll be doing, hopefully your investment will go up as well, if with their investments too. So it is good system they've got going on, as long as everything runs smoothly. And as long as the team is you know, checking that things are still going on the right path for where they're going, which I think the team has got that nailed. Uh, the team are British, from what I gathered. Uh, there's not actually many UK teams that I know of, and I am from the UK, so that's another reason why I kind of like this project. That's just a little thing for me there. But yeah, KOC by the Obsidian Council, as we said. We've already said all this stuff here on the website, which we'll just move from that. So what is the purpose of MDB? Using proven mathematical methods, MDB has the ability to make everyone that holds a millionaire. So they're basically saying that they'll make you a millionaire. Whether that's true or not, who knows. But I guess if you'll hold long enough in these type of projects and things work as they should, and the team is constantly developing, anyone could be a millionaire in any project that does well like this, especially if you're getting very early. So be careful of your promises like that. But yeah, definitely could make people millionaires indeed. Uh, seasoned investors in the DeFi space will know all too well that sound investments can be few and far between. Indeed, they are correct there. Capital Synergy takes away that uncertainty. MDB quickly evolved as we explored the mechanism and methodology behind Capital Synergy further. And quickly, our commitment became to make DeFi better. So that's where they got the MDB from, I assume. Uh, the responsible DeFi is the future and the sustainability is key. One FAQ we get is MDB a rebase token? No. So there's been a lot of rebase tokens recently with APY and APR. MDB isn't going to be doing that. So no, MDB does not rebase and thus does not offer a fixed APY. MDB does not need to rebase to realize its value and does not carry the weight of inflation, which can lead to price dilation as uh, dilution as supply increases without additional liquidity. So yeah, there you are. So there's not just constant tokens coming in circulation, making the price more inflated. So like they're, they're not a rebase token. They're doing something different at the minute. Like the trend is rebase tokens, right? And I like that this project is moving away from that, trying to do their own thing, something new. I like to see that. A good point of comparison is Bitcoin in 2010. You could buy one BTC for around 39 cents, which was insane. Today, that same one Bitcoin would be worth over $40,000. Value does not have to come from rebases. It is important to know here Bitcoin didn't have capital synergy or a trust fund back in it, which it didn't. So, capital synergy, what is it? What is capital synergy and how is it going to benefit the holders? Capital assets that add to long term net worth of cooperation synergy the interaction of cooperation of two or more organizations substances or other agents to produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate efforts uh, effects sorry our unique and original mechanism capital synergy creates a cynical effect whereby numerous components in the project come together to create an everlasting growth effect so they're just trying to do a bunch of little things that come together which just keeps the project long lasting continuing to grow which is nice to see Capital Synergy is the process of our trust fund and the interest it generates being utilized together to create an expansion growth in the inherent value of MDB token. So yeah, Capital Synergy is just them doing investments and different things, which is the trust fund, which then hopefully generates more income into the project and so on and so on. 
Simply put, we have designed a system that acts as a growth engine and insurance policy all in one. Our trust fund is a high interest generating investment with the interest used to buy back and burn a token, which I love. Generating constant and everlasting buy pressure. That is capital synergy in a nutshell. MDB's unique assets working together to create a compound effect resulting in paratural growth. Thanks to capital synergy, even if there was a zero volume, the value of the token would still increase because they're doing buyback and burns. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave all the links down below for like the website uh, and this as well so you guys can have a little read yourself if I'm going too fast for you guys. I hope I'm not going too fast today because uh, my accent, that's just how I talk. We just talk too fast around here sometimes. So I'm going to try to slow down a little bit. What is the trust fund? The trust fund is the driving force behind capital synergy. The trust fund is essentially a large sum of money that is invested strategically to generate interest. That interest is then used to buy back the token and also burn to create deflation. This creates an increase in price for two reasons. Constant buy pressure and constant deflation. Correct, it does. Uh, the trust fund will always generate interest and thus always have a positive price impact. It does. So as long as their investments are doing well, they're going to do buy back and burns. Whether that's going to be weekly, monthly, or daily, I'm not sure. It probably does say here it's somewhere down the line. Um, but as long as they're doing constant buyback and burns, this project will constantly bring in revenue as long as things keep moving with their investments and whatnot. So keep that in mind. There is always still a risk as well. I'm just going to put that out that with any project, there's always a risk, right? The size at launch of the trust fund versus liquidity is a ratio of five to one, meaning that the price impact it will have is substantial. So yeah, they already have a large treasury, the large trust fund from the beginning, which is amazing to see. So the clever tokenomics they have ensures that the trust fund always grows. A portion of the interest generated goes into the trust fund to increase its value, makes sense, and there's going to be a taxation on buyers and sales also generated additionally income for the trust fund. That's typical for most projects to do something like that, yeah, I like that. Heavy sell-offs or whales dumping only feed the trust fund's value, so I like that. So if you make a lot of money, you want to sell, let's say it's 20%, for example, I don't know if this is 20%, I haven't actually looked just yet, but let's say it's 20% and you take out 10 grand, that's $2,000 that go into the trust fund and which benefits the entire community, which means that guy has made a lot of money, still made a lot of money even after taxes, but he also helps contribute towards the community. I like it. It prevents people just dumping the project instantly as well, and they rather do maybe small sales throughout the time of the project, so it's nice to see. How will the trust fund be invested? The trust fund will be invested strategically to ensure both high interest and low risk. Our initial method will be a 70 to 20 to 10 split across a balance of risk slash reward. So like I was saying earlier, they might do some stuff in stable coins where the price doesn't change and the interest just keeps building up. Or they might do some stuff that's high volatility with higher reward, but the risk is higher. Like I said, that is a possibility as well. Investments include farming. DeFi products and vetted smaller tokens with significant ROI. Growth is expected to be significant with our recent model demonstrating 19% growth in a single calendar month, which is really nice to see. A low risk farming algorithm tokens with minimal risk. I'm not going to read that part. You guys can have a look at that. Basically what I've already said already. The Phoenix. Unlocking the Phoenix. The Phoenix is essentially the trust fund interest. Like a Phoenix rises from the ashes of our trust fund enables MDB to rise from any dips and create a new price floor. The Phoenix, interest generated from the trust fund will be used primarily in three ways. To buy back and burn MDB, feed the trust fund to accelerate growth, and to shareholders within form of airdrops and other rewards. So yeah, there you are. So they're also going to be doing airdrops as well and rewards for the holders, which is nice to see. Our Phoenix signal system will be used as an indicator for MDB holders. Phoenix unlocked when the price is low, we unlock the Phoenix. I like that. That's kind of quite quirky. I like it. When the trust fund is 20% plus of market cap, probability of buy, uh, buys are high. Some or all interest accumulated will, uh, during this period may be used. So yeah, they're not going to just use it whenever. Whenever it's 20% uh, of the market cap, they're going to be doing some of the funds with that there. So it's not just constantly happening all the time, which is nice to see. Uh, Phoenix ready. When the trust fund is 10 to 20% of market cap, buyers are less likely, but possible. The Phoenix is awake and ready to rise if needed. Be ready, a buy may happen. So yeah. I like that. I do like to see that. It just means it's not constantly happening and then it might just come out of nowhere and be like, you know, I'm trying to click there, but boom, like that. So yeah, pretty good to see. Phoenix locked. A cumulative period where the trust fund is under 10% of uh, the market cap. The probability of a buy is low with the uh, interest fed back into the main trust fund. So there you are. So once it's locked, the um, interest will just go straight back into the, the trust fund, which is nice to see as well. Other me me mechanisms. 
Mega buys, there is always the possibility of a merge buy, a tactical larger than average buy that is used to pump the liquidity whilst taking tokens out of circulation at the same time, causing there to be less tokens in circulation, which hopefully should draw up the price as well. A mega buy will be no more than 5% of the trust fund value in calendar month. I like that because you don't want a massive spike in price because that will just make people dump it for the entire like pump is just useless. There's no need for it. Um, so yeah. I like that. Uh, the calendar month executed strategically by the team when it makes financially sense to do so. So yeah, like they just said there, they're not going to do it when it's a silly reason why to do it. Like you don't want the price just to pump crazy for everyone to dump. So yeah, good that the team acknowledged that. There'll be holder rewards. The Millionaires Club and NDB VIPs will have access to rewards, early access and more to be revealed uh, the week of launch. The above mechanisms will be intentionally difficult to predict, making it exciting and allowing the Phoenix to have the impact it needs. The combination of capital synergy and the Phoenix signal system creates a cynical effect whereby everlasting growth is mathematically proven. With zero trading volume, the Toku value will uh, would still increase. Yeah, very nice. Uh, let's have a look at the roadmap here, guys. As you know, let's do the ecosystem. So you've got phase one. You've got the taxes, buy and sell, 10% uh, and 15% sell. You got phase two plus, which is 1% and 2%. So BSD back stable token with an everlasting growth mechanism. Token value can be also increase, offering discounted minus 20% MDB taxes for transfers to and from MDB for those that fancy themselves as a trader. And then you got phase three, which is staking. Stake MDB and BB the liquidity pools and passive rewards. So yeah, we've already gone over that, but there you are. And then the roadmap, let's have a little look here. So in the first month, going to be launching all the socials and all that stuff which they've already started doing already uh they're going to be applying for audit and so uh basic insolidity which i think they've started to do already complete private and pre-sales which has not happened just yet guys just so you know they're going to launch the project so on so on they're going to be upgrading the website which i should have said at the start which i think they should do as well but it's not too bad for a basic one but yeah i like that they're going to release an adapt which may show you how much you might earn in a certain amount of time i'm not sure what their dap's going to be showing like but i do always like a good dap uh they'll be launched phase two what we just read there implement q last now this is a big thing this is quantum liquidity which sphere finance provide and what that basically means is normally liquidity pools don't do nothing unless there's buy and sells right they just sit there dormant doing nothing what this does is make sure liquidity pool work so let's say you have a million dollars in liquidity the quantum liquidity will have like an apy on it so it's basically working and it's you know constantly producing money for the liquidity pool so it's basically investing in the liquidity pool to make more money for the liquidity pool uh, i'll try and leave a link down below somewhere about the quantum liquidity pool because i don't want to cover it on this video i want to make a video on sphere finance to talk about that more but that's essentially what that is yeah they've got a bunch of cool things coming out here how is MDB different to other projects? Let's have a little read for that. MDB cannot be crashed forever by whales. We protect your investments. Even if a whale sells, Capital Synergy offers insurance against a total token crash due to everlasting buy pressure from the little things they've got going on from what we talked about before. The recovery may not be instant, but it will happen over a period of time, giving long-term holders reassurance. The supply is not elastic. Our supply is fixed with a burning mechanism, ensuring peratural growth from both capital synergy support and the Phoenix mechanism, pushing up the value tokens and supply because there's going to be less in circulation every month, every day, every week, however they're going to do it, right? So that's good to see. The team. The team is KOC, like I said. Uh, you guys can have a little read through all that stuff. But yeah, that, that is MDB. It's a promising project. They have amazing KYC with... The obsidian council so that's an instant trust for me guys you know you can hold me back if this project does fail or whatever but these guys are really good in my opinion they're experts in this they've done all the stuff they've not done anything bad so far uh, and mdb are a super awesome team go talk to them in the discord all links down below find out yourself this isn't a paid promotion or nothing like that um, i am actually in the white list for this so i will be getting in early uh, and all that good stuff full disclaimer but this project does look promising. I thought I'd bring it to you guys just so you know. It is a good looking project with a great KYC team back in it. So yeah, that is MDB. They have some good partners. Like um, I think they might be working with Sphere Finance. It's not official, but they are using like the quantum liquidity, like I mentioned earlier. So it's a bit of a partnership kind of, a little collab. But yeah, 
that's mdb guys i hope you enjoyed today's video hit a like if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all the content here and leave a little comment let me know how you think about this video and yeah hope you enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys in the next video peace